Hello and welcome to the Q School Final. My name is Luke Elvey and my co-pilot today is John McCarthy. Howdy, John. Hello, Luke. How's it going? Well, John, certainly looking forward to getting into this event. Let's hope for some spectacular golf out there. Thanks, Luke. We'll catch up after nine. See what's up. It's looking like it's heading into the fairway. And about 140 yards to go. And going with the nine iron. And uh, not the greatest of swings on that approach shot. Didn't have enough club on that one. And about seven feet to go here. Drop for par. And starting today's round off at even par. And now let's see what the second hole has in store. Appears to be heading for the fairway here. And about 105 yards to the pin. This one's looking a bit long, folks. And as it turns out, that one's uh, going to play nicely. And this putts for par. And she's going to stay right at even par after that one. And now the third hole tee off. And about 215 yards away. And here's the five wood. And this shot's looking pretty good. Fantastic work on this par five, hitting the green in two. Inches, inches away. This putt's for birdie. And after that hole, one under for the day. And now the fourth hole.
going with the nine iron here. And I think she'll be probably pleased with that shot. And about 17 feet to the cup. And they're about three feet away here. And she's still tied for first after that. Okay, let's see what the fifth has in store for us. Well, this one's looking like it's finding the fairway. And from about 120 yards out. And that approach is on the green. Quite a long putt ahead. And missing the birdie, unfortunately. And tapping in for the par. And one under for the day after that hole. And now setting up for the next par four hole. And she's made a good shot there. And this putts for birdie. Finishing this one with a good putt. And as we check the standings, she's going to stay in first place after that one. And now setting up on this par three. Looks like a uh, five iron. And I think she liked that. And this putts for birdie. And for the par. Ooh, just missing here. And this putt is for bogey. And a nice putt there. And she'll stay right where she is on the leaderboard after that hole.
And the eighth hole is next. Well, this one's debatable. Could be rough, could be fairway. Okay, and 135 yards to the pin. Taking a shot with the pitching wedge. Unlucky on that approach shot. It's a little bit out of character for her today. She's been hitting greens pretty well. This putt is needed to save par. And just missing. And about five feet from the cup. And that one drops for the bogey. And she will fall out of first after that. Okay, and on to the ninth. This one's looking pretty good so far. Yeah, about 110 yards to the pin from here. I think she'll like that. About 15 feet to the cup from here. And Luke, we head into the final stretch here at this event. What are you seeing out there? Well, John, it's looking good for them out there. If they keep playing this way, I'm pretty sure we'll see them on the web.com tour very soon. Thanks, Luke. We'll chat after 18. And to the folks at home, it's looking like sand. And now let's see how they get out of this one. And about 17 feet left to go. And this for the bogey. And unfortunately, she's going to be moving down on the leaderboard instead of up after that one. Okay, now moving on to the 11th.
she made a fine shot there. And about 145 yards to the pin. Going with the nine iron. And now she is on the green. This one's about nine feet away. Oh goodness, that was that was almost in. And this one's about three feet from the cup. And that putt drops on in for par. And after that hole, one over for the day. And she's also currently tied for ninth place. And just about to uh, tee off on this par three. And here's an eight iron. And this putt is for birdie. And for the par. We have a good putt. And one over for the day after that hole. And she's also tied for 10th place on the leaderboard. All right, let's see what uh, happens on the 13th hole here. And this shot's looking promising. From here, 220 to the pin. Going with the five wood. Very well played golf shot. Hitting this par five and two, it's gonna set up some serious possibilities. This one's about two feet from the cup. And after that hole, she'll go down to even par. And she's also tied for fifth place on the leaderboard. And setting up now on the 14th hole. And that shot's not gonna make her too pleased. And she's coming out of some very deep rough here, folks. And about 18 feet to the cup.
And this putt is for double bogey. And that putt drops. And as we look at the leaderboard, our current leader today is sitting at one under. That's the score to beat. And moving on to the 15th here. And I think this one's going to find the fairway. from 205 yards out. And something tells me her swing wasn't all that clean on that one. And that's no good, She's uh, she's gotten wet here. And this putt could save par. Oh, that was so, so close. And this one's about six feet away. And that one will drop for the bogey. And after that hole, she will unfortunately move down in the standings. And now setting up on the 16th tee. Looks like this is going a bit long. And I think she'll like that one. And this putt is for birdie. Nice little putt. And she is moving up in the standings after that hole. Let's see what the 17th has in store. Wow, and that was just a monumental effort, hitting the green in one here on this par four. And that eagle putt will drop. And she's gonna go down to even par after that hole. And she's tied for third on the leaderboard. This is exciting, folks. Final hole, and she is one stroke off the lead. Well, so far so good for this one. Could have put a bit too much club on this one. Well, this one's still quite far away, but it is definitely on the green. And this next putt for a final round score of 70.
Oh, that was close. This one looks about uh, four feet. And that putt's going to drop for par. And Luke, just like that, her event has finished. And she's going to find herself on the web.com tour. I really like the look of this player, John. I think they've got a bright future. I really feel the web.com tour is just a stepping stone to a big career. Well, that's all we've got time for today, folks. Hope to see you soon.